Hi all. Welcome to EIESV Mule 4, 4 minute videos. In this video you are going to learn about JMS connector in Mule 4. Let's jump into the application development. Open any point studio, click on file new Mule project and give a project name. Click on finish. Now drag and drop HTTP listener connector to get the requests for your service. Click on new connector configurations and give the host and port number. Click on test connection. If the port is not in use then you will get a test connection successful message, then click on OK. Now give a URL path for your published to JMSQ service. By default Mule 4 doesn't have the file module. So, go to Mule Palette and click on Add Module, select the file from Add Extensions then click on Finish. Now drag and drop the file read operation into Canvas. Add a new connection properties and give the working directory then click on Test Connection. Your test connection is successful. Now give the input file name in the file path field. Drag and drop the transform message into the canvas to convert the received file data into the string. Now again go to Mule Palette to add the JMS module into the project. Click on Add Module, select the JMS from Add Extensions, and click on Finish. In earlier Mule versions have JMS connector for read and write operations based on its position, but in the new Mule 4 version JMS module has different connectors based on the operations like Acknowledgement, Consume, Listener, Publish, Publish Consume and Recover Session. Now drag and drop the JMS Publish operation into Canvas, add click on New Connection Properties and give the username, password details of the active MQ. Now select the inline from the drop-down list of factory configuration, and give the broker URL of the active MQ. Give the destination and select the queue from the drop-down list of destination type. Right-click on the canvas, run the Mule project and save your project. By default Mule will download required artifacts from the Maven repository. Once your project won't have any errors it will show a success message as deployed. Now go to Browser or Postman, give the service URL and click on Send. Congratulations your input file is published successfully to the active MQQ. You can see the content of the file in response of your request. Now open your active MQ and check the queue message, you can see the file content is successfully sent to the active MQ queue. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at mule4beta at eiesb.com.